right, it is pretty cool to come across a one, uh, an old one-room schoolhouse, but it's even cooler to find folks who actually went there. Isn't that amazing? And it's that's amazing. what you found, right? Yeah, it's exactly what we found in Canton. Take a look. Upon our arrival at the South Center School in Canton, we find a small but lively group of folks reminiscing about days gone by. These three people were students right here in this one-room schoolhouse. It was in operation from 1848 until 1942. What was it like when you came? It was fine. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Had four grades. Four grades? Yeah, five, five through eight. All in one room? Yes. This one teacher. One teacher. One teacher. That's Barbara Sweet and Teller. She attended the school from 1929 to 1933. Next to her is Muriel Bristol Legette. She came to school here from 1933 to 1937. And Kenneth L. King attended from 1937 to 1941. His mother was also a teacher here. I had to get here early because my mother was the teacher and I would ride to school with her. Right. So I was, I was shoveling and I was doing every all kinds of things. How many kids were in this in the room all at one time? Do you oh, remember? It might have been twenty. About twenty kids. Yeah, more or less. Well, you had four in my grade. We would hear what other people were learning. That's at the same time, but that must have been. I, I can't imagine that. Was it difficult? Well, I don't know. We seemed to get along. We got a good education. Back in the day, the girls entered and exited through one door, the boys another. And since there was no running water, the students used outhouses. The school closed in 1942. In 1944, the building became a library and operated until 1998. And since then, while the first congressional church, Canton Center, who owns the building, has used it, it, it hasn't had the kind of dynamic use that we'd like to see for the, for the community. Well, that's about to change. Can you believe it's still standing here? I think it's great. Well, we had a, an architect look at it, and it's a stable building. It's fine. That's good. And they call it exquisite and uh, a jewel of a building. A jewel of a building with a bright future. The idea of the church is to open it up for community use, space for exhibits, children's recitals, art shows, that sort of thing. The work to revive the building has begun. We've had wonderful support from the community. The Lions Club is going to fix the sill. We had the Boy Scouts wash out the inside. It's been great. It is a gem of a building, and I had often inquired about that building when I attended the first congregational church, Canton Center, of course, when I lived in Canton, and I'm so glad somebody's uh, kind of restoring that building, keeping it... Uh, at 1848, it's a piece of history. I know, you know? I know. It's really cool to someday sh uh, show your kids, hey, look, Absolutely. people went to school in one room.